um, who is it, Seth Rogen? It said, correct. Okay, sorry, Casey Neistat, just a big YouTuber. Like, well, this this just happens in LA. You're, you're gonna get your was, car broken into. You're gonna lose your stuff. It is what it is. Because Casey just was over. talking about how his car had gotten broken into and they stole all of his daughter's birthday decorations or kids' mm -hmm. birthday decorations, whatever. Yep. And Seth Rogen said, "Well, that's happened to me 15 times. Who cares? Your car." <laughs> he said, "Your car shouldn't be an extension of your life like that." And you know what? This is how you see how the left is so unbelievably out of touch and mm -hmm. they With are the reality. privileged ones. Yes, because yes, for that's the right word. Privilege. So many of us, our car is an extension of our life. Yes. That is a huge important part of our life. That's how we get to work. That's how we make money. If we have no car, we have nothing. Some people live out of their cars. I mean, I just, many people in LA live out of their cars. Many of, the, I mean, Johnny Depp lived out of his car before he got yes. started. Yes. And yeah. I mean, many actors, that's how they made their way. And they're the ones telling you to vote for these leftists and yeah. everything. I think of, I don't know if you guys watched um, the series, which is based on a true story made on Netflix mm -hmm. recently. I've heard of it. I've okay. seen it popular. But that girl in there, you see, it's a true story and she mm -hmm. is showing how she's escaping a domestic violence situation. Mm -hmm. And so in the show, she, for a period of time, she's having to live out of her car. She's mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to work, you know, balance these minimum wage yeah. jobs and care for her daughter. And so for someone like Seth Rogen to say to that girl, for example, the, the star, what, who made is based off yeah. of, that would absolutely ruin her life if her car kept getting broken into like that in LA. And then you guys can speak to this way more than I can. I just found out who Lord Scott Disick was just a couple of weeks ago. So you guys know <laughs> pop culture, you know the Kardashians, but you know that they influence culture so much. And then now they're influencing legislation. They're influencing who's mm -hmm. gonna be in power. It's not just like, oh, buy this lip kit or these, I like these shoes or, or whatever. It's now really affecting r real people real people, not just consumers of just random products. And I feel like that's what's making just the biggest difference here. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.